Hi family, this is True Sugar and I'm coming to you today with a video on my stop on my um alternative to the dark matte visor palette. Um I was very interested in getting that visor palette, but that visor palette is like $80, I think. And I am not using up enough makeup or using my makeup every day enough to to validate for me purchasing that palette. So instead, I purchased this palette right here. And these are all eyeshadows that I got from Coastal Scents. And I just wanted to show them to you today. Um, I just went, um, I bought them during the holiday sales when each of the shadows were 99 cents. Um, and of course, this palette is my Sephora palette that I got for 10 bucks. But I just wanted to have a little bit of these shadows that I could use to play with other palettes that I have in my um, collection. So you guys, one of the main reasons that I bought this palette it is because I really wanted to um, work with this palette. The, um, uh, yeah. These are my, this palette, the top palette is the Sonya Kasha um, Jewel of an Eye. This palette is the Sonya Kasha. This particular palette is the Sonya Kasha Jewel of an Eye palette. And I really wanted to um, have some shadows that went really well with it. I needed some depth to really bring out the shadows. Um, just plain brown really wasn't going to work for me so um and I also want to do some videos with these two particular palettes so that's the main reason it's essentially the main reason I got this I was inspired by this palette to even want to purchase the neutral eye that matte the dark matte neutral eye palette from um Visart but I decided that it would be better for me to ooh look at there <laughs> I decided it would be better for me to go ahead and purchase other eyeshadows just to see if I was really interested because that's just a lot of money to not use or to not play with and I just I just don't want to I don't want to just have eight I mean I have enough mo palette money eyeshadow money lotion money stand hanging out around here in this collection that I have I don't want to add any more Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the different um, shades in each that I have in this um, in this palette. So I'm just going to name them out to you first and then we'll just talk about them. So the first shade is called Light Taupe. This one is Timeless Taupe. This one is, excuse me, this one is Fine Wine. This is Pomegranate Red. We have Violetta, we have Edgy Eggplant, Fool's Gold, um, Baked Clay, we have Indigo, we have Navy Baby, Penhurst, and Olive Wood. Okay, so let's, um, I'll do swatches with each shadow and I'll talk to you about how I feel. So. The first one is the light taupe, and I'm going to give you guys a good swatch. This is light taupe on my finger, and then I'm going to work on this whole arm swatching, y'all. This is it on my skin, and it just looks like a little gray. Um, This sh is, says it's supposed to be some kind of, on the Coastal Sense palette, it says it's an exotic... Taupe. No, it just looks like a light taupe. It reminds me a lot of the. It reminds me a look a lot of Buck from the Urban Decay Naked palette. So we have that one, and then we have Timeless Taupe. And this is how Timeless Taupe looks. And then this is how Timeless Hope swatches. And it's just a little bit darker than the Light Taupe. And yeah, it's a little bit darker. Nice, neutral. 
nothing overly dramatic. It was they were actually two shades that I really hadn't thought about not getting, but I figured just go ahead and complete it so that you can kind of get an idea of so that I could use it. I can use them all together. I'm sure I'm gonna probably be using those kind of colors in like the crease or part of transitioning something or or at least starting off as a lid shade or something. Then we have fine wine. You guys, I love fine wine. This is how fine wine looks. Now, looking at her, she looks pretty boring. But I tell you, Miss Thing is kind of sassy. Yes, she is. Um, I know that um, really focusing on your transition area was really big to me. I noticed with a lot of eyeshadow looks with everyone that focusing on your tr your transition your transition eyeshadows were really big. And you guys, you know, I talked to you a little bit earlier about the video that I'll either be posting before or later in my alternative to my to the um, modern Renaissance palette. I think that modern. I'll even. I think that that modern. It's not modern. I think that fine wine would go really great with these types of shades. As a matter of fact, when I put when I put fine wine with these shades, um, it's just awesome sauce. Just awesome sauce. Um, it really. Um, there's another eyeshadow that I have called raspberry tart that along with um this um, fine wine and these shades really gives me the feel of the dose of colors eyeshadow palette so if you want to see my idea for my collection on that let me know um but yes i really was excited to get fine wine so, fine wine is described as a delicate mauve red hue with a matte finish and i think it's just really to me it's a, a really pretty purple I see the mauve in there, but it's just so pretty. I think this is like one of the top shades that I have in my collection that I want to play with and work with. All right. So with pomegranate red, which is supposed to be um, a deep, juicy red. So let's swatch pomegranate red. So that's pomegranate red. And it's bright. It's a bright red to me. Um, it is juicy. Like strawberry juicy red. I, I do agree with that idea. Alright. So then we have Violetta. This is Violetta. And Violetta is um, reported from Coastal Sense as a mauve violet hue with a satin finish. I really don't get satin from this to me it comes off as a matte eyeshadow and i'll swatch it for you right here so you can see like it's very matte to me and that's why i pulled it let's see the next color i had was edgy at plant and edgy at plant looks like so it's really bright um, it's called a, a, a vivid bl bluish purple hue with a matte finish. And I have to agree. Um, it's very bright. Very blue too. Uh, I really like it. So that's edgy eggplant right there. The color that we'll get to is called Fool's Gold. A fool's gold is supposed to be a muted yellow gold with, of course, a matte finish. Um, I was really going for a mustard look, and when you look at it, it does look mustard-like. But on my skin tone, it's not. It does not come off like girls that are lighter than me. I'm gonna swatch it down here for you. Like um, when I swatch it pretty hard, you can see the mustard leaning of it but i think this is gonna work really if i like smoothing out a little bit though it kind of blends into my skin like if i blend it i'm blending it out and it really does blend into my skin really well i think this would be a great transition color to play with within this palette 
so we have that one i just want to let you know like if you do p look at this palette thinking like hey i like this color the, the colors that you're looking at on my um nc50 skin mac nc50 skin um i can't think of all the other <laughs> foundation colors that i've worked with i'm a uh um lancome tint the tint a dual alt whatever in Lancome's Tint Adult Ultra, I'm a seven, excuse me, a four seventy. Okay, so um, on my skin tone, when it's blended out, this looks like skin. Like right here is where I blended out that eyeshadow, and it it looks really good next to my really yellow um, undertone. So the next color that we have to chit chat about is called Baked Clay. And let me get baked clay for you. Baked clay is supposed to be this rustic orange red hue with a smooth matte finish. I haven't really played with this color a lot, but it is pretty bright. It's not, it's a muted bright color. It's not the brightest orange I've ever seen, but I do like it for it to be go along with the dark neutral palette. And this is what she looks like right here. That's that's I'm so big. have um just the last four to go. Um the first one is going to be indigo. And for indigo on the Coastal Sense website, it describes it as um a matte cadet blue eyeshadow. Pretty bright and vibrant. So I thought that would be really cool to show you guys. And Navy Baby, it says Navy Baby is a opaque blue with a matte finish. Um, it's a really dark blue. Like, when you think of the murky ocean blue, not really, to, to me, not denim blue but like deep ocean blue stormy ocean blue that's what I think of this blue as and it's really pretty and I haven't played with them played with anything a lot I wanted to show them to you guys first and then I wanted to go in with the palette and see how I felt all right and then the next color is called Penhurst and Penhurst is described as a rich forest blue Excuse me, rich forest green with, of course, the matte finish on Coastal Senses website. So, here we go. This is Penhurst. And that's Penhurst right there. So, this is a nice dark green color very forest like so i thought that was pretty awesome and then the last color i got for this palette to play in is called um olive wood now olive wood is described as a deep olive with of course a matte finish on the coastal sense website um sorry this is what the color looks like um, and this is what olive wood swatch is like. It's very, um, it's very, it's a very neutral green to me. Almost a khaki green to me. That's kind of why I picked it up. So yeah, that's pretty. Yep, guys. So once again, guys, these are the shadows for my um my alternative to the uh, dark matte Vizart palette and these are just a few of the shades that I have managed to I wiped them on something. I wiped them on my dog bed but they they are staining me. And then these are the other colors. I just washed them. I can't believe I just wiped them all on my dog bed trying to move. 
But anyway, you let me know what you have in your collection that you use as alternatives to the um, dark matte palette from Vizark. Um, or even if this is something that you even concern yourself with. Because to me, these are pretty warm shades. They're not super duper cool, which I, I like. Um, if you have any comments or questions, and I'm going to flip it, bam, this side. If you have any comments or questions, like definitely leave them down in the bottom bar. I am interested in starting a series using this palette. Um, you guys let me know what you think if you want to see if I can come up with some of the eyeshadow looks that I've seen on on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or any of those things. Yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. I'll see you guys in the um, in the comments. Have a blessed and wonderful day.